in the same way, much as it was a good some rally, Safari is known for the hard way specs are supposed to be set as cars and the drivers. Endurance, determination, and uh, of course, perseverance is one of the few factors that I'll outline a driver in the participation of the Safari Rally. There is second runner, that is, of course, day three second runner, a car brush driver, Onkrai Rai, had a story to tell after rolling his car to a write off. Uh, my name is Onkrai Rai, I drive for the Cabra Sugar Racing Team. Um, I drive a Skoda Fabia, the same as. Uh, uh, um, we had a good start to the rally. We we were a bit cautious on the first day, the Kasarani, the head-to-head. -head. Um, we then went into the rest of the stages, and we were pretty close to everyone, and you know, we were pushing as well. Um, it was a good drive from from Baldy and 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 Flash, especially Manvir as well. You know, to keep up to him was the guys were trying, and and so were we. Um, and we beat, we had, we won one stage, I think. Um, and after that, it just the, this, the day ended really nicely, and you know we were ready for today. The plan was to attack completely from from word go. Um, in the second stage, we came around the corner, and then and there were some bumps, which we didn't. I mean, it was a very simple call. It was yeah. you know bumps is max bumps is half right. There. And flat. flat. So it was, it was shocking what actually happened to the car, and it just sort of it launched itself. And it's the second year in a row. Um, <laughs> same rally. Yeah, same rally, same situation, yeah. same time to catch up. Catch up. Um, I, I'm gutted, um, very upset, and, and but you know what? To be honest, at the end of the day, Baldy, my my teammate, yeah, my too. brother, my friend, he's done amazing. He's uh, He's made us proud as Cabra Sugar. Yeah. Uh, my brother as well went out. Yeah. Um, yeah, yesterday, unfortunately, with an alternator problem. I mean, a freak thing. Um, but he drove brilliantly today. He's got a new navigator, uh, Gavin Lawrence. Yeah. And uh, the confidence is back. And I'm looking forward to good competition with him as well. I mean, we put a big effort in this, especially as our Cabra's team. Um, there's the Meningai team. There's the Top 5 team that we're all, we're all part of. Um, you know, we... We do this because we love the sport. Um, there's no other intention. There's no other um, uh, way we're thinking that you know to get an advantage. But it, we've been we've been in the sport for the longest period of time, and we stayed we stayed in the sport when it went through its uh, bad period. And, and now it's and now it's going up to its good stuff. And I think as a as a team and as a sponsor as a as a company, we we're happy to be associated with rallying. Um, especially when it's at this stage, you know, with the the effort everyone's put in, the the organisation, the I mean, it's been unbelievable. Um, from what level we've been rallying at to to what we've seen in the last few days, so it, it's achievable, and and we've we've experienced that, and and I am very proud to be part of part of a rally, part of the part of the Safari Rally project. Um, yeah, I wanted to win it. I'm not going to lie to you. I, I, <laughs> it was my aim to win. I had to, it was all I wanted to do was win. Yeah. Um, I mean, like like the other boys say, you know, you don't enter rallying not you don't do a sport not to win. You, know, you have to win. Yeah. Um, second best is is, is second best. And um, I mean, we tried our hardest. That that I that I know for sure. Um, you know, I'm glad the team stuck with me. My navigator stuck with me. It was a big thing for him to come back in the car after a whole year. Um, and again, the same thing happened and, and I'm glad that just, I thank God that uh, nothing happened to him. Um, and at the end of the day, like I said, it's been a pleasure to be part of, part of, this, part of this experience. And you know, when we were kids, we used, to, we used to follow the cars, we used to go to KICC. We, I remember going with my dad um, and to be part of it would be a dream come true. Um, you know, this is one step there. It already feels as if you're part of the sport. Sure. But when the big boys come in their big cars and then the way they drive, it, uh, <laughs> I'm sure they'll teach us a few lessons. Um, but it, but it's you know it's their sport. It's a, they're professionals. We do this for fun and um, I mean we can. I'm sure we can give some of them a good run for the money. But you know the big boys are at a different level. So 
but it'd be amazing to be part of that experience and see the guys. You know, we support them, we watch them on TV, and, and you know, guys like Otana, Thierry, you would, I'd love to watch them. Um, Another crazy OT on the Exactly, crazy like exactly. <laughs> uh, but yeah, it'd be an amazing experience, and, and we cannot wait. And I and I really hope that uh, they they choose it. Yeah. yeah. You know, the plan was to to give my brother my car, and I was going to upgrade. But I don't want to give him a car that's bashed up. Um, I don't think it's damaged so badly, but it it, it should be able to be repaired and, and uh, maybe just a new shell. But having said that, we we are looking. Um, nothing confirmed yet, but uh, let's see till next season. You you you'll be the first to know. The whole story behind that, you know, a lot of people have talked and said that we we did that to spoil to spoil uh, the chances for Manvi and. and you know, that's not our intention. We're not in the game to, to ruin it for anyone. Um, and on top of that, he won. So uh, whoever said that, whoever made that nasty rumor up, is, it's just uncalled for. <laughs> the reason behind us going to, to Zambia was there were a few events that were cancelled in, in Kenya and we decided to, because we had not done a single rally in, in three or four months. Yeah. And uh, we decided to go into Zambia and we heard a lot of good things about it. We had some very, very friendly people down there, you know, Leroy, Jesse, Muna. I mean, they, they were very gracious hosts and, and it was a pleasure actually driving down there and being treated the way they, they did for us. It was, it was a great experience. But we didn't, we did that and it was also partly as a warm up for, 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 for the safari as well, yeah. Uh, beautiful. For now, maybe not. I mean, it, it all depended on this result. If I'd got a win, we might have considered it. Um, but it takes a lot of time out of, out of the schedule and, and rallying. And it, like I said, we're not, we're not professionals. We do this for enjoyment, so you also have to pay for what you enjoy, and uh, <laughs> it, it it takes a toll on 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 work on the work side, and maybe one day. I, I saw a video uh, with my dad offering, well, offering. Oh, yeah, or, I offering. think it was my dad, yeah. <laughs> who, I don't think he offered. I said I think he he encouraged 150 buses of Ugandan fans to come over because we all know how passionate they are and oh, yeah. how much they love the sport. And it would be amazing if we can contribute to something like that. I, I'm sure we would do something. It's not a, you know, to get some some extra fans in from from Uganda, uh, considering the way they love the sport and and especially for us Kenyan brothers, I I, I, I would gladly contribute something to that. And then lastly, uh, will the Ugandans who are yearning always to see you fly, uh, will you ever give them a chance to race at their home ground? I mean, we had this conversation earlier, but it, it, to me, I think there are a few issues on on the safety side. Um, I would love to come. It's, uh, I've heard a lot of good things about the fans, and, and it's, it would be a nice experience. But it's, it's something that uh, worries me with, in terms of safety, and, and you don't want to commit to corners where people are coming around the corner. You know, it's, it's just not safe. <laughs> and uh, I wouldn't want to be responsible for any, any, any deaths for any Ugandan, any Kenyan, anyone, yeah. to be honest. And, and it's, uh, if they can get it right, I'd love to come. Yeah. In the run of the after event conference we had a chance to chat up with the top runners that is Boldy Chaga who was uh, uh, the win of the day uh, second in running was none other than Carl Tundo and of course the man himself uh, the African defending champion that is MRC driver that is none other than Malvir Barian who has already even put in an entry for the part of Africa to be quite honest I don't think I've ever done a rally that's been this competitive in my whole career um, my old friend here Carl and I have been battling second for second and we've been pushing our cars beyond the limits to keep up with the, the R5s of, uh, <coughs> of Manvir and our teammate on car. Um, we've taken risks, we've driven as hard as we can, uh, we've been through the roughest conditions, we've had good stages. Uh, I could possibly say, yeah, the most challenging event I've done in a very, very long time. This is a sport and uh, things happen in the sport. Unfortunately, it's happened to our our fellow friends. Uh, it's happened to me in the past, it's happened to Carl in the past. Uh, we've all lost rallies because we suddenly got a puncher or, uh, you know, there's all sorts what of... Uh, uh, we got stuck in rivers, like, he, uh, possibly Tundo would have won this rally if he wasn't stuck in the river. Uh, so it, it's, it's a matter of luck, being in the wrong place, wrong time. Um, but I, would, I wouldn't say it was really handed to me. We did really fight hard for it because when we saw Manvir on the side of the road, it wasn't over. We still had Tundo behind us, and we knew he's not going to be slow. Because once he saw Manvir on the side, I know him for many years, <laughs> he's not going to back off. <laughs> 
So we had to drive the whole stage like Tunde is going to catch us, or it's possibly going to beat us. So it wasn't really handed on the plate, but uh, it is what it is, and that's it, really. Yeah. And what I can tell from the outside is that this mythos is still alive. Yeah? The fans around the globe, yeah. they have a great appetite for the safari to come mm -hmm. back. But this does not mean they all remember exactly how it was 18 years ago. Yeah? And when we discussed the concept of the future safari with the organizers here, but also with the um, uh, politicians that uh, gave us the honor to join us this weekend, the intention is not a revival of what was the picture of the world of Kenya 20 years ago. We want to transport the picture of Kenya 2025, yeah? the future of Kenya look like. What is it as a tourist destination today, not 20 years ago? Yeah? How is education today? What is the quality of the universities today? How great do the beaches look today? So there's so much stories that can be told, <coughs> built on the memory of what the safari was 20 years ago, but translated into what is Kenya, what is rally sport in Kenya today. So it does not help us to look back all the time. Uh, I even do not only want to look at how is it today. We should jointly develop a vision how do we represent that in the future? In most of the rallies missing uh, giraffes and zebras in the picture, that's true. <laughs> and um, absolutely, yes. The, the possibility to tell on 14 weekends 14 different stories that makes the WRC, in my eyes, unique. Yeah, if, you, if you see other sports, they happen inside an arena, or if it's a circuit racing, you see a circuit from inside. What we can do, and we today we produce between 25 and 30 hours live TV from each event, we can really show the beauty from the country outside as it is. Now, you know, we have the helicopter in the air all the time, the onboard cameras show the country. So this is a unique, um, uh, let's say, perspective that we offer. And then, of course, uh, the more variety we can offer in this perspective, the better. So if we are in the snowy mountains in, in Monte Carlo at the beginning of the year, going to proper snow and ice with spikes in, uh, in February in Sweden and so on, uh, this, this, this variety is a strong asset. Yeah? And what we do not have today is maybe a desert rally, a jungle rally, the safari rally. These are still stories that could contribute to that portfolio of stories. And uh, in that regard, it's a strong asset. And, and we have a big appetite to have these pictures in, the, in, in our uh, annual calendar, for sure. It has been a wonderful time, and you can share us with the thoughts and complaints by sending us a message on the Twitter handle or on my Instagram. I've been your speed merchant for Angais. See you up again next week, same time, same day, on Unquese Sports.